Well, I wanted to put a quick video together uh, to explain where we are and where we've been. We haven't done a really good job of recording things over the past couple of months, so I'll explain where we're at. We had put our house up for sale back in October of 2020. Uh, we were able to get an offer fairly quickly. So we moved in November to a 400-ish square foot, um, I think it's actually 350 square feet, um, efficiency apartment. So that actually was a really good transition uh, to get us down. So that's, you know, one-tenth of the space that we were used to having that we needed to put all of our crap in. Uh, so. I'll do a quick tour of our, um, our apartment and show you what we've been living in. Okay, here is the entry door to our apartment. Uh, gotta love those command strips um, in order to put all of our coats and other crap on. Um, we will go into the kitchen. I'm not honestly sure why they put a dishwasher in here. Uh, um, I would have much rather had some actual storage, but maybe that's a good thing because I need to get everything um, in that I put in here into the truck camper. Um, the weird thing is these um, these cabinets are so tall that I need a step stool on in order to reach pretty much any of them, which I thought was quite amusing. Uh, so the challenges in a very tiny uh, place is, you know, we really didn't have much place for any of our kitchen utensils or anything like that. So bonus tip for people who are living in tiny apartments, um, who needs a dishwasher when you got two people? Um, I use it as our utensil holder. And, oh, but wait, there's more. And our produce. Um, that doesn't need to go into the refrigerator and our silverware. It works. Kind of amusing, but it does work. And of course the stove can double as your bread drawer. So yeah, you know, sometimes you got to be a little creative in order to make things work, right? Um, of all the things that I have in this kitchen, I think the biggest concern that I have is my spices. How am I going to fit these in our camper? Hold on, you gotta see this. Gary says I have a spice problem. I think I don't have a spice problem and that I actually just like food to taste good. But uh, maybe you can tell me differently. And let's go into the spacious living room. Um, yes, this is all a hot mess in here. We've got, I got so many projects going on, it's not funny. For one, we have a shoe problem um, that you can tell here. Um, we're trying to figure out what shoes we absolutely have to keep, what we can get rid of. We just have a lot of shoes. Yeah, a lot of shoes. And that's, that's toned down actually, so I, 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 we're making progress. So here is the actual living room. It goes from the kitchen countertop-ish thing, bathroom, bed, uh, desk with another, another hot mess going on there. So yep, now you have seen our entire apartment. Lovely, huh? Um, this, <laughs> we're actually using a camp chair in our living room because there's no place to put an actual table and chairs. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. So that is Gary's chair. I end up using my computer chair for most of the time when we're eating dinner. And our, our dining room table, our TV dinner trays, we'll actually stack them two or three together depending on whether it's just Gary and myself or including Sarah and we'll have dinner on TV trays. And we'll, we'll put it here in the spacious middle area. Um, bring chairs in. That's kind of amusing. Uh, so today's project is um, going through documentation. I'm scanning everything from our camper manual. 
because why would I want to carry this ginormous three ring binder with me? So uh, we're getting that done. Yeah, so between that and the shoes, um, I think I got my projects for today.